Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video and it is a classroom theme reveal and haul. So if my shirt is any indication for you, I am doing a cacti succulent theme, which is really fun for me because I'm sure if you followed me since five years ago at least, we moved from Arizona to Florida. So I'm very familiar with the desert and all things cacti. And for a long time, I wanted to get totally away from that. I was really enjoying the beach scene and just the totally different environment that Florida had to offer. And of course, I still appreciate those things, but I'm kind of loving the cactus trend that's coming up in a lot of apparel and other things that I've been seeing. So I wanted to incorporate that into my classroom just a little bit. And I picked up some things. I will tell you where each is from as I go through because it is literally in this huge 31 organizer that I keep in my trunk. So when I go to school in two weeks, I can bring it all into my classroom. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna go pull from the top and pull in no particular order. This is from Amazon and this Eureka brand is I something that I ordered a lot from because all of the pieces matched. And this is the A Sharp Bunch collection. And these are encouragement bulletin board die cuts. So you can see on the top there that there's some encouraging words like cactus makes perfect, bloom and grow, things like that, as well as little cactus or cacti die cuts themselves. So I got a pack of those that I figured I could decorate on the walls. It is a little challenging because at my school we cannot have things hanging from the ceiling and we cannot decorate our doors, either the exterior or the interior of the door. So that really just leaves me with my bulletin boards and the walls. So I kind of have to work with the space that I have and make sure that whatever decor I have can go on the wall surfaces and not hanging or on the doors. Um, the next thing that I got is a birthday bulletin board set. So it says, happy birthday to everyone. And then on the back has every month. So the, right now you can just see October, November, December, but every month is in here. So I can create a birthday board for my students and have everyone's birthday represented. Next thing that I have in the same collection is the class jobs set. So at the front, you can see it says class jobs. And in the back here, some samples. There's a lot more. Uh, but what you can see is paper passer, door holder, and weather person. But there's a lot more. There's actually 15 job squares, 15 different jobs, and includes 24 name plates. So you can put your names of your students under each job header, and you are good to go on that. So I'm super excited about those and I'm really happy that they all match. Um, now these I picked up at Target in the Dollar Spot or Bullseye's Playground, whatever uh, it's called now. And these are essentially dry erase activity boards. And what's really cool is I picked up a couple different, one math specific and the other are probably more ELA specific. Um, but they have, it's a flip chart, so there's more than just the one that you're seeing here. And this I think is gonna be phenomenal when I'm pulling small groups. I can have this back with me propped up. I'm probably wanting to get like a little easel or something that I can stick this on and then really have a fantastic visual for my students as I'm teaching that concept in my small group. Um, these are the ones that it comes with. So you've got 10 frames, a hundreds chart, some addition, subtraction, and multiplication tables, a number line, place value, really some great core math. I shit myself in the face. <laughs> um, math subjects. Like I said, these two are more ELA concerned. And this one, as you can see at the front, is a story map. But they also have um, a planning your story. So if you're working on writing prompts, a timeline, making predictions, um, informative writing, an outline, which is fantastic when you're moving them from, you know, you could do the planning and then moving them to the outline with the rough draft, 
cause and effect. I just think that these are phenomenal and what would also be fantastic as well as once you as a teacher have demonstrated how to use the charts and have done that in your small group, you can really facilitate some great student-led activities. So if a student is really excelling, you can have them demonstrate or come up to the flip chart and write in how they did it themselves, which I think is great as well. So here's the last one that I got. This one is definitely heavy flow charts. Um, so you can kind of see just different ones. Maybe this would be a beginning, middle, and end, or first, second, third. You've got um, a triangle one, so if you're doing a hierarchy of needs or like a food chain, really just anything. Because these are blank, you could put anything in these. And all of these were $7 each, but I think $7, well worth it. Um, next thing that I got are these paper trays. So for my students, when we're doing assignments, I have an ingoing and an outgoing tray. So any assignments that are done, they would put in the in or to be graded tray. And then I take them from this bucket, grade them. And then when I'm done grading them, they go in the outgoing tray. And then I have my paper person pass them back to students when they're done with their assignments and are ready to do their job. So um, these I believe were three dollars, two dollars, two dollars for the paper trays. And I actually already have some in my classroom, but they're pink because prior years I usually just do like a rainbow theme or really just anything colorful so everything matches. But because I wanted to do a specific cacti theme, I wanted to get some green ones. And kind of my core colors are green, black, and some subtle kind of like aqua trickled in. So those are the colors you'll see. Also grabbed these from the dollar spot. These were $5, so really nothing for a dollar, but that's okay. <laughs> um, they're magnetic letters and numbers and punctuation. So I thought that these would be perfect for my whiteboard. I can spell out, um, you know, anything. I can do a homework section on my board. I could do the standards whatever you want to do with magnetic letters. I love that they are black and white polka dot. I thought they were really cute. Another thing I got for my whiteboard that is magnetic is this. It is a expo marker and eraser organizer. Prior to this year, I've just kind of had them in a Tupperware, um, kind of like on a bookshelf that I've got right in front of my whiteboard. So I thought that this would just look a little nicer and this was only $3 and green, so I loved that. Next thing I got, these things are from Party City. I'm seeing on Pinterest, because people are so creative, teachers using table covers or fabric cloths to cover their bulletin boards, and I've always just left my bulletin board with the coke, the coke, <laughs> the cork exposed. I've never thought to actually, well, that's not true. I've done paper cover before, but most of the time I just leave the cork exposed. But I've never thought to use a table cover or fabric, so I wanted to just play with this and see how I liked it. But what I was really excited about were these. So these are paper streamers, and I think they were a dollar a roll. But I got cacti ones, which are so cute. And then I also got some like Kelly green as well as that darker green. Um, so I, what I was kind of thinking is I would take these two probably and like spin them together to create a banner above my bulletin boards. Not sure what I'm going to do with these ones yet, but they are cactus. So I was like, that's absolutely perfect. And I'm going to buy them and just figure something out. Maybe I can make like little paper flowers or something with them. I'm not too sure, but I was really excited about those. Um, the next thing that I got is some bins. So traditionally, I had these bins from Target, again, in just multi-different colors at the front of my room that held my students' notebooks for each subject. Because in my classroom, the students have a table with a metal basket underneath their seat, and that really just has enough room for their textbooks. So anything additional that they're bringing to school with them would have to stay in their backpack. And I like them to be able to have stuff out, especially since we're using it during the day. So I traditionally had these buckets up at the front of the room for them to store their notebooks or whatever. But now with COVID and with things being so different as we go back this year, 
I bought these kind of with that intent in mind, but now I'm thinking I'm going to assign each their own bucket and let them put any of their extra materials in here to keep underneath their desks by their metal basket. Or I might use these in alternating like green black on my library to organize my books a little bit better because right now I just really have them by like I've written the reading levels and things inside but they're not organized in that way so I might do that I'm not sure I this year is really gonna be a lot of kind of trial and error but these were only three dollars each and I got um, four black and one two three four five six seven green because I already have a green one in my room from last year so then I figured I'd have eight green for black. And that's that for those. Also got these from the dollar section and I thought these were fantastic. These were a dollar though, so that's exciting that they I actually paid a dollar in the dollar section for something. Um, but these are dry erase pockets, so it's kind of showing you as an example for something very primary where you would have kids trace numbers and letters as they're practicing. And I kind of thought I could do that with learning cursive since I have fourth grade students, but I also thought these would be fantastic for math facts. So putting in their times one, times two, times three, and letting them work on here rather than consistently printing out timed tests for them and using all that paper. I just thought that they could just slide it in here, do their answers, I could check it, and then wipe it clean. Um, but you could use these 101 different ways, so I really liked those as well. Only a couple more things. Um, I got this banner, this little fabric tassel banner from Amazon, and I thought that I could put this in front of my desk. I really think it's sweet. It's got the same coloration. You guys can see that darker green and the Kelly green with little bits of aqua spread in, and I just thought it would add some really fun pops of color to my classroom, and it's coming undone. The bow I tied is coming undone on the side. There we go. Um, so there's that. I'll have everything that I purchased from Amazon linked in the description below. So if you want to check it out, you can. The Target stuff is a little harder to link because I actually don't think anything that's in the Target dollar spot can be found online. Maybe that's wrong though, so I'll check, but I don't think so. Um, also from Amazon, also from the Eureka A Sharp Bunch set, I got these bulletin board borders because can you please take a minute and look at how cute <laughs> I mean I just I really just love them I love when I see this I smile I love his little teeth I love the one with the glasses I love the one with the braces I just think this is really fun and very childlike but not like primary like kinder childlike I think that my this is kind of you know right in my fourth graders alley I think that they'll really get a kick out of that um, I have a bag in here full of more Target dollar spot things. Um, first off being these happy birthday bookmarks. I thought it would be fun if I could get some books off of Amazon, like a class set, and then for their birthday stick this bookmark in the book and give them the book and the bookmark. And these were a dollar. Also got some dice. This is perfect for math games or for on our fun Fridays when I have when they have time to play board games that I have for them. You can always use dice. They always go missing and they were a dollar each. And then I got some stickers for myself for grading. Um, I really like putting stickers on their papers. I think it's just a really fun way for them to instantly see that I looked at it, I graded it they did a great job or way to go. I really like them. So it really is more for me than for them. But I got three packs of those and these were all a dollar each as well. And then the very last thing I have to show you, I actually did not get from Target or Amazon. I got it from a small shop. We went to a farmer's market um, at the start of this quarantine. So I want to say maybe like April, May. And this woman was selling, oh, I got, oh, there's two things in here, right on, this really cool hanging shelf. So I'm just going to take a tack and tack it into the wall um, by my desk area. And I'm going to put a succulent on it. So here's the actual... Um, 
succulent pot looks like this and so I thought that that would be really cool and that could be one of the jobs for the students is have them look after you know come in every day make sure that if it needs water which it shouldn't it's a succulent but you know to just kind of take care of it look after it and we'd have a live plant in our classroom since I want to say like most classrooms now don't have like a class pet um, I thought a class succulent would be a really fun substitution. So I was really excited about that. I thought it was so cute. And I was supporting a local businesswoman, so I really liked that as well. And at that same farmer's market, I also got this. This is a cactus. Essentially, it's a phone charger holder. So you would have your phone um, you know, plugged into the wall, so this would hang off of the actual charger and then you could scoop up your cord and your phone and stick it in this pocket so it's just hanging from the outlet rather than your cord and your phone just kind of going all over and getting everywhere. It kind of just keeps it all nestled, tucked in um, in one spot. So I thought that that was super cute as well. But that's everything that I have for decor for my classroom for the 2020, 2021 year. I always have to go after the school year starts back to Target or Walmart or Staples or wherever and fill in actual supplies. So I see what my students bring in and then I fill in those pieces, whether they need more folders and notebooks, glue sticks, crayons, whatever. I wait until after the school year starts for those pieces because I don't want to buy something and then they bring in a whole bunch of what I bought and then I just have way extra or not enough, whatever the case is. So I just kind of do like the decor part of it in the summer and um, the supply part of it after. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're interested in maybe seeing a classroom tour or like a montage of me decorating my classroom, I'll see if bringing my camera is something that I'm able to do. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!